All right, guys, back with another prediction video. I'm going to just run straight through these, try to get this done and get it up so you guys have a chance to see it. These fights are tomorrow, obviously. You're not going to have many hours to look at them. Anyway, this is UFC Fight Night, Delize versus Imavov. All right, let's start at the bottom. We got Lee Jung Young versus Blake Builder. Blake Builder's a very aggressive uh, eight and one record. Lee Jung Young or Jung Young Lee has a t 10 and one record. He's got really good hands, great stand up. He's kind of tall for the weight class. I took Jung Young Lee in this one. Who'd you take? I think I'm gonna take Blake Builder. She's taking Builder. She's going against me again. <laughs> All right, next you got uh, Thimba Garimbo versus Pete Rodriguez. This is kind of a toss-up for me, uh, just based on uh, Garimbo's experience. Uh, Pete Rodriguez has a 5-1 record. Um, I went with Rodriguez, so uh, I think he can get inside and be aggressive and possibly uh, land a bomb. Uh, for being a shorter guy, Pete Rodriguez is a beast. Who'd you take? I took Rodriguez too. I think he's vicious. He looks vicious to me. I think yeah. it's going to be a heck of a fight. All right, next up we got the undefeated Isaac Maxim versus Charles Johnson. I'm taking Maxim. Yeah, I took Maxim too. Uh, honestly, I just don't see this fight being competitive at all. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Might be surprised. Yep. Next up, we got Molly McCann versus uh, Belbita, Deanna Belbita. I think Belbita is the favorite in this one. I saw, but then then I saw another place that said that Molly McCann was. I'm going with McCann on this. Okay, she's taking Molly McCann. I'm taking Belbita. I think uh, McCann has a win over Belbita, but uh, she's been looking good here lately, and uh, I'm gonna go with her to pull the win off. You took McCann. I took McCann, yeah. All right, next up we got the eight and one Thomas Peterson versus Jamal Pogues. He's ten and four. I took Peterson on that one. I took Peterson as well. Uh, this is going to be a crazy fight, toss up. Uh, these are two big, heavy, heavyweights. Uh, I think Peterson's going to be able to get the takedown. So I know Pogues has got a little bit of defense early on, takedown defense, but I think Peterson will be able to get him down and uh, probably finish him. I don't think this fight's going to go to decision. Yeah, I don't know. He's a really good wrestler, isn't he? Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, to me, I thought it was probably not going to... Who'd you take, Peterson? I took Peterson, yeah. Okay. Next up, we've got Landon Quinones versus Markel Medeiros. Yeah, Markel Medeiros versus Landon Quinones. Quinones is 7-2. and two. Medeiros is 8-1. and one. I took Quinones. I took Medeiros in this one. So I'm coming after your ass. Well, Next two up, weeks ago, I was the, the rookie who topped your ass. Yeah, so you, you got me. Luana Carolina, Carolina <coughs> versus, what's that? Julia. Stolia Stolia yeah. Julia? Yeah. My Ju shit Julia. says Julia. Julia. Stolia Renko versus Luana Carolina. Carolina. It's got to be Carolina. Nine and four for Carolina, 11 and eight for Stoliarenko. For Stoli I'm taking Stoliarenko. I did too. Not, All right. Not based on her past, but just watching her fight. <laughs> Next up, we've got Gilbert Urbina versus Charles Radke. Who'd you take? Charles Radke's eight and three. Gilbert uh, Urbina is seven and three. I took Urbina. I took Radke. Okay. That's going to be a crazy fight right there, I think. That may end up being fight of the night. All right, we've got Mac Mahmoud Muradov versus, uh, you're going to have to tell me that first name, Kizriev. Elias Cobb? Elias Cobb? Elias Cobb? Elias Cobb? Elias Cobb? Kizriev. 14-0 versus 26-8 with Muradov. This is going to be a crazy fight. Muradov's got tons of experience, but you're fighting a 14-0 guy. I took 
kids are F. I did too. I'm thinking, um, but if I'm right, he, is re, it's, he hasn't fought, fought in two years. Yeah, he's fought like twice in the last four years, I think, something That's like that. That's the thing that makes it me a little... You think he's going to have a little ring rust, huh? I'm wondering. Well, you look back and you say he's only fought twice in the last four years. I, th I could be wrong on that. But he still managed to stay undefeated. Yeah, that's true. So, well, it's not I'm going to go with Kizrev. You're taking, I'm taking you take Kizrev, Kizrev too. too. Okay. Next up, we got Arioju versus Silva. Viviana Arioju. Natalie Silva. Who'd you take? I actually took Silva. She is the fave. That's not why I took her. She looks like. Mm -hmm. I took Silva too. Uh, yes. Arioju's. She has looked good in the past. She hasn't looked as good lately to me. And also, Silva's um, ten years younger, which means she has doesn't have the experience that Vivian does, but she may have she's more, got youth, more energy, and vim and vigor. So, all right. Next up, we got Randy Brown versus Muslim Salikov. I think I'm gonna do Brown. This is a toss up for me. I really don't. I really don't know. But I did take Salikov. Uh, Randy Brown's obviously going to have a reach advantage. He's got pretty good stand-up, but I took Salikov. I think he can get inside, land some shots, and maybe finish it on the ground. This fight may go to decision. Okay. But I'm thinking Salikov for the finish. We'll see. All right, next up we got Hanato Moicano, Drew Dober. You know. These are two of my favorite fighters. I like both these guys. I'm torn, honestly. Uh, yeah. I think I'll do Dober. Um, I might regret it, but I think that's what I'll do. Dober definitely has knockout power. I just think Moicano's going to have a reach on him. He's going to be able to use his kicks and stay away from him, eventually get it to the ground. I think Moicano finishes this fight maybe third round with a submission, maybe second round. But I'm taking Moicano for the finish in this one okay. by submission. By submission, I'm writing that down. Submission, okay. Who'd you um, take? You took I Dober? Took, I took Dober, yeah. I don't know how he Duber, took Dober, Dober, Dober. That's who, um, and that's not what swayed me, but MM Maniac, or MM, uh, MMA Guru mm -hmm. took it. MM Maniac is you. Um, MMA Guru put him on there, um, and I'm kind of curious to see, but after watching his fights, I Guru took who? Dober. Fuck Guru. He said he might regret it, but he was going to do I'm it. I'm just kidding. I like Guru. Uh, Delize versus Imavov. Roman Delize, Nasruddin Imavov. This is another toss-up for me. Yeah. I think either one of these guys could win this fight. Delize is a fucking beast. It's like yeah. he, he never slows down. See, that's the that's thing. But then it looks like his anger gets the best of him, and then he might turn his brain off. I don't know. How, when's the last time he lost? It's been a while since he's lost, I, I think. Know. I took Imovov. <laughs> that I, said, so did yeah. I. <laughs> I took Imovov. <clears throat> I think he's going to have a little bit of a reach in this fight. <clears throat> I may be wrong, but he's got great stand-up. He's got good knees up the middle. I think he'll be able to keep Delize off of him. If Delize does come in... He might can land a counter strike and end it soon, so or end vicious. it early. He looks vicious to me. That's the only Who? thing. Delete um, Delete he he looks is really vicious. He's That's a fucking what I thought monster. Might actually, top him up, yeah. but he looks like he's thoughtful and patient as well as being a great fighter. So he can probably outthink Delete say if he gets vicious and his brain turns off. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so that's it for UFC Fight Night Delete Zay versus Imavov. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate all y'all. Shout out all the subscribers to MMA and the X. What's that? Were you writing there? Anyway, we'll see y'all guys on the next one.